Hi, I'm Amanda Vane with Keller Williams. And I'm Michael Soldana. And today we are going to give you a tour of this beautiful community in San Jose. Some of the things that I like the most about this community are the modern architecture, the styles, the patterns, the colors. There's some really great ideas that you can even use in your own home. So I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. This community has single family homes, townhomes, and condos. What I like about this community is that it's on the hilltop, so you get beautiful view and it's conveniently located near all the highways and light rails. You're also 15 minutes away from downtown San Jose and Santana Row. So this community bedroom ranges from two bedrooms to four bedrooms, 1,800 living square feet all the way to 2,500. Price ranges from 900,000 all the way to 1.5 million. So go on this tour with us and let us know if you see anything that you like. We have special pricing with the builders. If you're looking for a great deal, make sure to give us a call and we will be more than happy to help you. Let's take a look inside. Hello, we are in the Platinum, and this is my favorite portrait. I think it's one of my favorites too. I really like what they've done with the windows in this house. You'll notice that there's a lot of them. They're different shapes, they're different styles. Some of them are very large, and there's also a really gorgeous view of San Jose and the entire city. So we'll show that to you shortly. All right, so even at the front door, you'll notice windows. Big window in the front door, get a little extra light in there. See who's coming, very nice. Right up front, you've got these three square windows. I love it. You know, we've seen a lot of texture walls, a lot of axe walls. This house, it's just all about the windows. Three windows, great light. Bedroom on the first floor. This is not just any bedroom, but look at this. It has a enormous dual sliding door, so you can enjoy the view, enjoy your yard. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Right. Just imagine this yard full of grass, got some plants, a little bit of patio. Beautiful, you know, beautiful guest room. You can even have it as like a bonus room if the kids play in there, whatever you need. Got a uh, light gray cabinet. We saw these in one of the other houses today, but I really love this light matte gray. White countertops, simple shower. I also really love the floor tile. It's a really strong marble design. A lot of the marbles you see are kind of faded. This one, very strong one. It goes with the whole house. Um, I love the carpet in this room too. It's got a nice little pattern, more of it upstairs. And that's where we're heading next. All right, now we'll take a look at the main room. Just like I said before, this house is all about the windows. You've got two huge windows in the kitchen. You have this oversized window right here. Floor to ceiling, get a lot of lighting. You've got these three rectangular picture frame windows just the level of light in, and then this beautiful view of San Jose. If you look to the left, you can see downtown. You've got the hills on the right. A dual sliding door, so both sides. Look at that. Ooh, it's nice. It's nice, look at this. Mm. I feel like I'm the king of San Jose. Because I'm on top of the hill. I always tell Amanda, the reason people build their castles on hills is because it's supposed to be better. <laughs> and this is why. <laughs> what a beautiful view, man. Perfect jealous. Okay, back to the side. Now, obviously, the centerpiece of your kitchen is going to be the island, and this island does not disappoint. I love this, and it must be quartz. I love this pattern. Um, there was another pattern that I've seen before similar. It looks like a dense, smoky, billowing. Um, and I love that they continue this pattern in full sheets on the wall. No backsplash, just full sheets of this quartz or whatever it is. Um, light and it goes really well with these light gray cabinets. You know, I used to like the white cabinets, but now I like light gray. Frameless cabinets, that means you can't see the frame. The door covers the whole thing up. Very nice. I like that they didn't take the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. These are already super tall. They're already at 442 inches to max. But that little extra space makes you feel like you have a little extra space in the home. 
Over here we've got the full sink, a beautiful three window spread so you can see everything you need to see, and a long outer cot. This thing must be 18 feet long. So long you have another window over here. Got your fridge. What a nice kitchen setup. This is this is definitely a chef's kitchen. A lot of room, set up a lot of stuff, get a lot of things done, entertain a lot of people. Very nice. Let's take a quick look at the half bathroom and washing machine. So we have a washing machine right here and a little half bathroom over here. Not much to show, but it's nice because it has actually two windows. A little extra natural light. You know, a lot of these half bathrooms you see on the main story, a lot of times they don't put a window in them. You have a tiny, tiny window, which is okay, it's okay, but me, like I said, this house is all about light. All different kinds of light. Very nice. All right, let's go take a look upstairs. I think there's something special I want to show you on the way up the This window, if I'm not mistaken, is the biggest window that we've seen all day. And I know it's kind of four windows, whatever. But this is, makes me feel like I'm in a cathedral. Wow, very cool. <laughs> all righty, coming upstairs. Take a look at the master bedroom. Once again, the centerpiece. You have the dual sliding doors coming out to your beautiful view of the hills. Look at that. Yep. Yeah, imagine you wake up and that's the first thing you do. You open your dual sliding doors, you get the cool morning breeze in. Oh, this is nice. I like this. This is very nice. Very cool. All right, over here, we also have a walk-in closet. Oh, it's pretty big. Got a little extra nook, so it's not just this square, but there, very good. Uh, we've got this bathroom. Um, I've been told this is a real marble countertop. I pointed it out before, but I like this comfort cut on the sink, that curved edge. Just a nice little sign that they have a high level of attention to detail. Love this bathtub, a Kohler bathtub. Shower stand, a freestanding glass shower stall. Private toilet for the bathroom. Let's take a look at this bathroom. Similar to the downstairs bathroom, we've got the heavily the pronounced marble tile. Looks like marble, but I'm actually marble. Uh, single sink, gray cabinets, simple and elegant. Over here, we have one of the bedrooms. Once again, just light. So, you know, you enormous window over there, two picture frame windows around your bed. Perfect. Great room, great room. And this room is very similar. You've got two windows. This is the south facing side, so you always get light throughout the day. Uh, one more window over here and nice little bedroom. Very nice, very nice. Okay, well, that about wraps it up for today. I hope you have enjoyed our home tours. Uh, get in touch with Amanda if you're interested in any of these homes. Uh, these homes are selling very fast. So get in touch with them, figure out what it takes to get there, and I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour today. If you have any questions about the pricing, floor plan, or the location, don't hesitate to give us a call. We have special pricing with the builder. If you are looking for a great deal, make sure to give us a call. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.